Hi, this is Alan from Rolf Prima Wheels. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to look at swapping between two wheel sets and uh, minor adjustments that might be necessary. Brakes, uh, derailleur being a big one, uh, and just how to do that uh, quickly. First thing you want to do when removing a wheel, you want to drop that down into your smallest cog. Uh, your quick release is typically right here on your caliper flip that open and it'll allow your tire to drop through so at this point we're going to open our quick release pull back on our rear derailleur drop that right out of here you're going to need to change out your cassette because you're going to want to run that same cassette on both wheels so i start by removing my quick release skewer to remove your cassette you'll need a cassette removal tool these will differ slightly depending on your cassette, but typically they will all have a splined pattern that is specific to your cassette's lock ring. You'll also need a long handled wrench to use with your cassette tool. A large adjustable wrench may also be used. The long handle is required since tightening down and removing the lock ring requires quite a bit of force. Lastly, you'll need a chain whip to provide counter resistance on your cassette. So I'm gonna use my chain whip Make sure this is engaged well. At this point, everything is good and loosened. In fact, my lock ring came off there. Your cassettes are gonna be either individual, individual with spacers, and in some cases on a carrier. I like to remove those as a unit if possible. Set that aside. In the case of this Campanolo cassette, there are specific spline patterns for it to go on, so you're going to just be aware of that. And finally, we're going to get the lock ring reinstalled. This is going to have a torque specification written on it. Uh, it is uh, one of the higher torque specs on a bicycle and typically that's going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of 35 foot-pounds so if you if you have a torque wrench to measure that that's the best way until you know how to what the right feel for but it's also when you have a long handled wrench which is necessary to achieve that force you can know when you're when it's good I'm going to reinstall my quick release skewer. When you go to reinstall your wheel, pull back on your derailleur. You're going to want to get that chain right over that high end cog. Allows me to pull up right into the dropouts. I want to hold that up in there securely. I'm going to tighten down my quick release. I like to have a good tight fit, tuck that into the chain stay. And at this point, since I've changed wheels, one of the most important things to do is check the derailleur adjustment. What you don't want is for this to overshift into the spokes at all. So I'm gonna check this by pushing and trying to overshift this derailleur. I'm looking at the chain, seeing if it's changing the position of the chain on the cog at all. And then gingerly, I'm gonna see if I can make it overshift. Can't do it, I think I'm good here. If I wasn't, I would go to my derailleur stop adjustments and make sure that that was correct. Also verifying it at the low end of the range too. Uh, as far as shifting, that could be off as well. I'm shifting it down one at a time. If there was any lag in that shift, I would take my adjustment here and I would turn this in the direction I want the chain to go. So if I wanted this chain to drop a little faster, I would turn my adjustment screw this way. Conversely, if I want, if my shifting to the higher gears was not fast enough, and I wanted it to go up, I would turn my adjusting screw this direction. Also in the, the direction I want the chain to shift faster in.
This looks good to go from uh, in the rear derailleur. So I'm gonna take this opportunity uh, to make sure that I've, my quick releases have been put back to their proper braking position and also a quick check just to make sure my brake blocks are contacting the brake track of the wheel and not up into the tire at all. And we're ready to roll. Thanks for joining Rolf Prima. We'll see you out on the road.